Yeah, I, I listen to me, listen to me clearly. We are invited to a New Year's Eve party last minute. Yeah, yes, yes, I know that it's very last minute, but we have to have fun. I don't want to stay at home with your grandma like last year. Remember? Remember? Yes. So we are <laughs> we are seeing each other at New Year's Eve. Don't be late, please. Don't be late. Wear your best outfit. I wear it too. Okay. Okay. See ya. Ah, uh, not again. Okay, here we go again. Your Omi has to help you again because you have a New Year's Eve party coming, right? You must have some cash for your new outfit. Come on, this time you must have some cash. Let's see, let's see. What? You spent all your cash for the Christmas presents? No way, my guy, no way. You are in big trouble. You are in big trouble. Well, I think your Omi has an idea. Let's go back in time for some inspo and use your items that you already have in your wardrobe. Sounds good, right? Yeah, I know. I'm a, f <laughs> I'm a genius. So let's go. Yes, that's way. Yeah, but yeah, let's hurry. So let's start with the booming 50s. I took inspiration from the preppy style of the 1950s and I'm starting with this DIY paper crown hat that I did before making this look. It's bigger than I thought but I really like the, eff the effect, the final effect. And I'm wearing my thrifted suit with my thrifted note pin that I thrifted like I think a week ago with my thrifted argyle vest, my thrifted tie with my button up my eye wasted trousers and to finish the look I'm wearing my derbies. I took inspo mostly from the prom nights and from the New Year's Eve outfits that I saw in the pictures of the 50s. Let's roll to the swinging 60s and I took Isra from the mod fashion of that period and I took this hat from a work uniform that I took for 1 euro, yeah that sounds insane, from the thrift store a week ago and also I'm wearing my aqua scutum plate suit with my sweat vest, my thrifted tie, my button up, my high waisted trousers and to finish I'm wearing my derby shoes as usual. And I can't forget the aviator sunglasses to finish the look. I am so ready for the dance floor, let's groove into the 1970s and I'm wearing my 70s sunglasses with my 70s suit that is from Paul Zilleri and also I'm wearing my striped button up shirt that I thrifted at the flower market near my town this summer and also I'm wearing my Gardo trousers as usual with my black and white loafers from H&M. Look is totally disco and ready to rock for your New Year's Eve.
Just imagine that you are an Aspen or St. Moritz rocking to the latest 80s hit. That is what I was thinking while doing this outfit, so I did more casual, so I'm wearing my Nanini Ski Sunnies with my Eskimo head, and also I'm wearing my thrifted sweater that I thrifted a week ago with my Sergio Tacchini jacket that is ready for the cold, my thrifted jeans, and my loafers from Rockport. Honestly, this outfit is very cozy, and if you're if your New Year's Eve party is in the cold, in the snow, somewhere far, then this is the perfect retro outfit. And to close this trip back in time, I'm closing with the 1990s and I was inspired from the New Jack Swing old school era with the house party movie as a reference. So I'm wearing my newsboy hat with my thrifted sunnies that I thrifted in Germany in Hanover last summer. Yeah, last summer. And I'm wearing my button up with my thrifted art deco tie. And this Avanti blazer that I think is from the 80s or early 90s. And also I'm wearing my Gardeau trousers with my H&M loafers to finish the look. So if you want a totally 90s New Year's Eve, this is for you. So those were all my looks for your new retro New Year's Eve. <laughs> and it was so fun getting inspired from each decade and wearing my new thrifted items to create these outfits. And I will see you very soon. Actually, not like you don't have to wait for long because I'm preparing an holiday party lookbook for your Christmas or for your office party. So I will see you on the next one. Have a happy new year in advance.